This is why we don't want to slide left to right in the golf swing and we really want to rotate. If you catch the ball heavy, if you catch the ball thin now and then, it could be because you're doing something like this. Say I've got my sternum here, if I rotate back and then I rotate back into the ball, I get to the same point. If I rotate again and I rotate back into the ball, I get back to the same point. If I'm rotating and rotating into the golf ball and through the golf ball, I'm gonna get back to the same point more often. If I slide on the way back and I don't slide back into the ball, I catch the ground early. If I slide just right, I can strike it good. I can have a good day, lovely. But if I then slide too much, I'm gonna catch higher up on the golf ball. That's where the thin shots come from. So if you're doing a lot of lateral shifting in the golf swing, it can cause you a few issues. With the driver, it might be manageable because the ball's teed up and further forward in the swing. If we slide a little bit back and forth, it will change the strike on your club face, but you might get away with it. So anything that's not a driver, I really, really want to encourage that rotate and rotate mechanism to get back into the ball more consistently for your long-term ball striking. Too much slide can be bad. 